guys, True Blue Caribou here. If you don't know me, I'm an extensive contributor to the Forest Wiki, and if you've read an article on it, chances are I wrote some or all of it. Today we'll be talking about the three, yes three, obelisks in the forest, including the two the player can interact with, and the one that is not accessible, at least not currently. Note that this is partially fan theory, and it has been neither confirmed nor denied by the developers so far, though I can back it up with evidence from the game. This video will have several spoilers, so if you haven't beat the game, I'd suggest you stop listening now. So there are two obelisks in the forest that you can see and interact with. We have the Resurrection Obelisk, which takes a sacrifice in order to bring someone back to life. This is used by Dr. Cross to bring Megan back, and it's also used by the player to bring Timmy back. Then we have the Power Obelisk, which functions as a sort of an EMP device. The room it's located in seems designed to amplify the power of the blast, and it's capable of bringing down airplanes. This is used by Dr. Cross to crash the plane, and it's also used by the player to crash a second plane in order to get a sacrifice for Timmy. These two obviously play a significant role in the player's story. However, it is heavily suggested that there is a third obelisk, which plays a major role in the backstory of the peninsula. Let's call it the Death Obelisk. I propose that this obelisk functions as a mass killing device. When activated, it sends out a pulse of radiation, or something else sinister, and kills everything within its range. I propose that Sahara found this death obelisk, along with similar evidence that the player has, warning them not to use it. However, I think they did use it as a failsafe when the facility was overrun, killing their remaining living employees who had not made it off the peninsula yet, but also killing most of the cannibals and monstrous mutants in the lab. Let's have some evidence. 1. We can find groups of skeletons huddled together in positions of fear and awe, as if they died all at once. There are two groups. The ones in Cave Sahara, the cave between the research lab and observatory, and the ones in Cave 5, the submerged slash rebreather cave. The ones in Cave Sahara seem relatively new, but the ones in Cave 5? Those bodies have been there for centuries. We can tell because they appear to be the Christian missionaries who pop up here and there on the peninsula. They wrote their notes in Latin, which means they're almost definitely not from the recent past. 2. The positions that these bodies are in suggest an unnatural, simultaneous cause of death. If the cannibals had killed them, the cannibals would have eaten them. 3. Almost everything in the lab is dead, besides Megan and Cross, who weren't there when the failsafe happened. Cross had been fired and had left the island. 4. The enemies left alive in the lab are all noticeably weaker than their surface and cave counterparts. The armsy takes way less hits to kill, the babies hit for less damage, and the skinny cannibals are bleeding from their ears and eyes. This is classic radiation sickness. 5. The cannibals on the surface and further from the blast were safe, as radiation doesn't penetrate well through tons of layers of rock. That's why the cannibals still freely roam the peninsula. So let's recap a bit. It's possible that the radiation from the death obelisk causes the cannibal mutation from regular humans, like the resurrection obelisk causes the Virginia, Armsey, and Kalman super mutations. It's also likely that this is why we have skinny versus tribal cannibals. The tribals cast out the sick weakly ones who were affected by the radiation. In conclusion, there are multiple things pointing to the existence of a third obelisk, the Death Obelisk, which serves as a counterpart to the Resurrection Obelisk, and that it kills large groups of people instead of saving one life at a time. The human survivors of the blast possibly turn into the first cannibals, while the cannibal survivors turn into skinnies. Maybe the developers will let the player find the Death Obelisk in the future, and maybe not. If you liked this video, feel free to subscribe for more upcoming content.